Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. NVIDIA's official CES event just ended, and with that, they had a few announcements that I've got to go over. But before I get to that, if you love keeping up to date with all things PC hardware, make sure you subscribe to Gamer Melt. Okay, let's get right to it. And starting things off, NVIDIA, well, they actually announced a few new games that are going to be getting DLSS3 and all that good stuff. They also showed off some new gameplay for new games, but of course, we primarily focus on hardware, and that first brings this. NVIDIA has announced that they're adding RTX 4080s to their GeForce now. So if you like game streaming, this could be for you. I believe it's like $20 a month. I actually don't have that slide here, but it was something right around there. The big announcement though was of course, if you follow this channel, you knew it was coming, the NVIDIA RTX 4070 Ti, or Ti. I know I joke about that from time to time, it is pretty funny, I do know that it stands for titanium, but keep in mind that NVIDIA employees have called it both Ti and Ti, so it's a bit of a running joke, but either way, they showed off performance and Unfortunately, it really doesn't give us much at all. You can see things like, ooh, three times the 3090 Ti, but then whenever you look, you see it's Cyberpunk 2077 with their new RT overdrive mode, meaning this is almost certainly DLSS3. Now, don't get me wrong, DLSS3 is a really interesting tech. It's not supported by very many games right now, but it certainly looks like it is growing. AMD is going to be releasing their version of it, so it's likely not something that's going to be going away anytime soon, but it does muddy the water when it comes to looking at performance versus previous generations. They also claim 1.8x average performance when compared to the 3090 Ti, but... Once again, that's almost certainly using upscaling and things like that. And finally, we get to price and specs. And just like the leak we recently saw, once again, if you like to keep up with all of that, make sure you subscribe. But as I recently went over in a video, the most recently claimed an $800 MSRP, and that does look to be the case. And of course, if you know anything about this, it is essentially that 12 gigabyte RTX 4080, so that means they did drop the price $100, but is that really all that great? I mean, when we look at the recent performance metrics, it does look to be quite a bit worse, at least in rasterization versus the 7900 XT, yet it does end up winning a bit in ray tracing, but of course, the 7900 XT is $100 more, but it's also not really a great deal when for only $100 more, you can get the 7900 XTX. Either way, that is apparently the price, and it's set to be available January 5th. You can see that they actually changed the whole GeForce RTX family from starting at $899 to now $799. So that is it. It's coming in just a couple days. And of course, if you're interested in picking one up when they are released, I'll have an affiliate link down in the description below. Moving on, we have laptops. They did announce the RTX 4000 series of laptops. You can see right here that they're basically claiming a ton of performance over last gen, yet quite a bit less power draw. Once again, this is likely due to DLSS3 and frame generation. But when we move on, we see three times efficiency making all these claims, but then of course DLSS3, which once again, I'm not bashing it, it just makes it difficult to compare it to last gen. Because this isn't a pure performance uplift, this is through things like AI upscaling and frame generation. Next, you get even more performance here, very similar to say the 4070 Ti that they were showing, but then we get pricing. The availability starts at February 22nd, starting at 999 for the uh, 4070, 4060, 4050 models. Of course, that 999 is almost certainly a 4050. Then it goes up from there. Then if you're wanting a 4080 or 4090, those start at 1999, available February 8th. So definitely really expensive. It does seem like the prices have gone up a bit just like with desktop, but we'll obviously have to see how the performance really compares to last gen. Either way, while that does it for today, what do you think about NVIDIA's newest RTX 4070 Ti? Is it worth that price or is it a little absurd? I'm definitely leaning more towards the latter, but let me know what you think down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe, and as always, have a great day.